Hello and welcome to Spot Vibes on DNT Walk. This time around on Spot Vibes, we have another dimension package for you. We're taking you through sports in another dimension. We have a story prepared for you, a story we believe will motivate and inspire you regardless of your endeavor. My name is Paula Jalimi and I'm your host. So sit back and enjoy. Six years ago, Edward Mendy was 23 and visited England a few times. And he wasn't visiting on a holiday. He came to train with some League One clubs, setting up a few trials in the hope of picking up a contract. Every time, the answer was the same. No club wanted him, not in England, not in France. A year earlier, Mendy had been released by Chebois, a small club in the French third division where he hardly played. They didn't believe in him. Neither did hometown club Le Havre, where he was released by the academy after only playing in the third team, all the way down in the sixth tier of French football. He would visit one of Le Havre's job centers, not far from where he grew up, looking for work. Back then, becoming a professional football player, having a good career and earning money in the game was little more than a dream. He had thought about never playing football again. But he would not back down. It was said that he would often run around the street to keep himself fit and keep the inner flame burning regardless of the extent of unwanted breeze blowing against it. During the period he considered leaving football behind, Mendy spent time in the lower leagues of French football. First, he connected with Marcel Reserve team in the 5th division where he didn't feature much, but learned plenty during occasional training sessions with the first team. And then he went to start the Rams in League 2, first as number 2, but quickly becoming a starter. He played a key role in both promotion to League 1 in 2018 and keeping the club in the top flight. Then came a move to start Renard in the summer of 2019 for 4 million euros, where he finished third in League 1 while getting his first taste of European football in the Europa League. A year later, Renner sold him to Chelsea for six times what they paid for him. Now another chapter in Mendy's incredible story is being written in London. Born to a Senegalese mother and Bissau Guinean father in France, Mendy had the option of representing one of France, Guinea-Bissau and Senegal, but eventually pledged his allegiance to the Teranga Lions. Hard work, dedication and determination those are the words you would find in the definition of the personality called Edward Mendy. And the good thing about that is the fact that he is still giving his biographer plenty of work to do. Edward Mendy had a relatively low profile when he arrived at Chelsea in September 2020 as competition for the world's most expensive goalkeeper. The Senegal International was viewed by some as a temporary alternative to the error prone Kepa Ariza Balaga with his £22 million move from Rena, a fraction of the £71 million outlaid on the Spaniard. But just about one and a half year later, Mendy has several winners medal in top competitions, including the UEFA Champions League, UEFA Super Cup, the African Cup of Nations, and the FIFA Club World Cup. Its path to the top, however, was not in any way as smooth as the last 18 months of his career has been. An amazing story right there, talking about Edward Mendy. Of course, this is something you see with several other players, not just um, Edward Mendy, but it goes to show the truth that regardless of whatever you're involved in, sport or no sport, there will be challenges on the road to the top. It's not always uh, rosy, it's not always uh, a plain sailing. Sometimes there are challenges, there are bumps along the road. And as Edward Mendy has proven so far in his career, you can definitely summon whatever challenge you're facing right now. So don't give up, don't back down, don't throw in the towel. Keep at it and just might not know. Your breakthrough may be at your doorstep. So just keep fighting, keep pushing. You may not be as popular as you think it would be at the start. It may not as been as easy as you thought. Keep your dreams alive. Keep those flames burning regardless of uh, 
the level of exposure you think you have for now and if you keep at it experience history has proven that if you keep at it definitely there is always a light at the end of the tunnel so keep fighting keep pushing and um, another thing you would observe about these players about these athletes is the fact that these tend to reflect in their style of play and how determined they are eventually when they get the breakthrough uh, it's not about you getting the breakthrough and then feeling you have arrived you can see edward mendy sometimes backing at at his teammates if need be just ensuring they are at the same level because there is something your process of shaping does in you that makes you not to take your success for granted when it finally arrives so you must never have that mentality of arrival as you see in mendy you know just uh, about a few months ago was crowned uh, the uefa super cup champion one of the UEFA Super Cup champions, you know, with his team chefs, so that was as a result of winning the Champions League and then the African Cup of Nations and a few days later, the Club World Cup. So it gets better and better for as long as you yourself do not feel you have arrived, do not feel, oh, I'm there now, I can just uh, go ahead and enjoy the moment. It is good to enjoy your success. I'm not playing that down. We are not saying that is not important, but as you are thanking God for whatever success you have achieved, don't forget that there is always more. Do not settle for less just as we will not settle for less on spot vibe so ensure you subscribe follow us across our social media platforms from facebook to instagram twitter linkedin and of course telegram my name is bolaji alimi the spot pilot i do hope you enjoyed this ride bye for now